Okay, time for the next installment of our junk journal. I have some things pulled. Um, this page isn't so much going to be a recognizable quote, but I had bought these little cards um, in like an ephemera pack. And I just thought these ones were super cute. So, a seashell belongs on a sandy shore. At the seashore is a little crossword puzzle and just this little girl with the S playing in the sand. So, um, I just thought they were super darling. So, I had to have them. Um, so, that's what I'm going to use for my quote. And I have a couple other little pieces. I have a water brush. And I'm going to grab a paper towel. Because I am working on watercolor paper today. And if you'll recall, we did get a little bit of green ink on this one. So... <clears throat> use my watercolor pencils. I'm just going to use the range of blues and a little bit of brown. Give me two of those. And we're just going to make a beachy kind of a page. And I'm just going to use the water brush to blend it all. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for a second. A couple seconds. I'm going to take the little girl and like color in her bucket and her swimsuit. Even though these are watercolored, um, colored pencils, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna blend them with water. I'm just gonna use them as standard colored pencils. Just to give her a few little accent pieces. There. That's it. And the brush rinse is clean. So I'm going to give those a second to dry. Okay, so I also found these little envelopes that I had that are a little chevron craft paper that I thought it would be cute to like tuck the um, <clears throat> puzzle into. So I'm going to stick that down first. I was going to put some craft paper behind this, but I think because it's already so full, I'm going to pass on that. That tape runner doesn't want to work. So I'm going to get this tucked pretty tight up into the corner. I'm going to overlap her like that. So. I had to double check and make sure I was recording. Hopefully I've recorded any of this. <laughs> Having one of those days with my camera. I'm 
And this cute little cloud. And I pulled this little piece. I pulled this. And I have a couple little short birds. So. I think I'll tuck one of the birds in the postage stamp under the camera. Try with the compass. Yeah, that'll tuck under there. And this also gives an opportunity for journaling on the back, and you know, filling in the in the puzzle if you wanted to, with no hints. <laughs> Put the other shorebird right down here at her feet. And I just have a couple little blingy dots that I may add a couple of. I think I'll do some pink for the little girl. Maybe just a couple of the aqua ones spaced out. Nothing too major. Just three of them. And I'm going to put one dot right in the center of the compass. And, uh, well, that's going to be it for this one. Super quick and easy. Um, I think it's really cute, though. This makes me happy. These little vintage book pages make me super happy. So, um, that's it. Quick and painless. Thanks for watching.